Um, Sir Hammerlock here. <clears throat> Let me tell you about my sister. She's wealthy, she's merciless. She'd happily shoot a baby skag in the face if she thought it'd make a funny noise. She's not a hero. Aurelia isn't outright evil, don't misunderstand me, but she'll only ever do the right thing if it means she'll get something in return, like loot, say, or money, or a cure to the endless boredom that characterizes the very rich and deadly. Yeah, people of Elpis, my sister is on her way, and she is an exceedingly bad person. It said, uh, it said available today because you weren't supposed to see this trailer. <laughs> this trailer is going to launch on Tuesday. On Tuesday, correct. So you guys saw something that no one's seen yet. On Tuesday, Lady Hammerlock, the Baroness, is released. And you can get it on all platforms on January 27th. Um, so, and if you have the season pass, you already have it. It's and she'll just, also be in the Handsome Collection. It. And she'll be in the Handsome Collection as well. Yeah. Uh, Matt, you want to tell us a little bit about, uh, about Lady Hammerlock? She, she's a she's a lovely lady. Um, yeah, we, we wanted to we wanted to uh, uh, bring a little more girl power to the pre sequel. We didn't think there were enough female playable characters. Now, uh, actually, uh, we we were really thinking about what we wanted what we wanted out of out of a new character. Like what could we bring to the table that wasn't there? And boy, the moon there's with the gravity and the jumping and the long distances. We thought, we, you know what? We want to bring in a real good solid sniper character. Uh, we've we've had a couple of good snipers in the past, but we really wanted to uh, uh, come at it again. I, I think I think Mordecai and and what was that other guy's name? Zero. Zero, I think. Zero. They're good, but we wanted someone who was like quintessentially just the best. Um, we also had this great ice element we really wanted to play with. So so her uh, action skill is an ice shard that she flings out and freezes enemies really effectively. Um, and she has a fantastic skill tree, actually, um, where she can turn one of the other players into her uh, manservant. <laughs> and then you now have synergies with the other player, where the things that they do benefit you and the things you do benefit them. They, they may go around and kill all the minions so that you can take out the boss, because after all, you're a big game hunter and they're just a little servant person. Uh, it's, it's a kind of fantastic new relationship you can have with other characters, and it's especially fun if she chooses Claptrap, because the synergies of Claptrap and other characters and the synergies of her and other characters uh, complicate each other in really entertaining ways. <laughs> um, didn't uh, Hemingway also work on the...? Yeah, jo Jonathan Hemingway is our character designer, uh, and he's been on 
all the characters for all the Borderlands. Right. Um, and this is this is once again him him coming to the forefront, bringing us something new. So props yeah, to so Jonathan. The, the the number one character skill tree designer at Gearbox from the very beginning uh, did the skill tree for Lady Hammerlock. So that's pretty awesome to have that kind of energy inside of Gearbox for the pre sequel. The further we go down DLC characters, the more we embrace the co-op gameplay. Um, and this is not an exception. This, this, she's got a really strong, really fun, me and you are going to be buddies gameplay. 